A little under two months ago, I uploaded a video called PewDiePie Sucks. It had the title PewDiePie Sucks, and it had a thumbnail with PewDiePie's picture in it, and it said PewDiePie Sucks. And if you didn't watch it, I'll link it. But basically, I didn't say anything bad about PewDiePie in the video. It was just meant to look like I was going to, but I didn't say a single bad thing about him. The purpose of that video was to talk about the fanboys of PewDiePie. That's what I did with the video. Basically, I noted that I have no opinion of him, and I said that because people are such loyal fans to PewDiePie, they're going to fight me for it, even though I'm not saying anything. And that's exactly what happened. I got hundreds of comments on that video, and they were all misinformed, because none of them watched the video. They were even defending him against points of argument, like saying he actually cares for his fans and interacts with them. He's not ignoring them, or he didn't just take this King of the Web money, he donated it to charity, and it was honest. And They were defending him against things I never said. They just had an idea of what I was going to say and fought against it. Now, the reason why I made this video, like I said, was just to go fishing for PewDiePie fanboys and expose the fact that they're not looking into these things. It's a kind of dangerous idea. People don't normally look to disprove their ideas. And that's what they say if you have an idea about anything, no matter what that is. If it's something that you can have various opinions on, then once you have that opinion, it should be your job to do everything in your power to disprove that position. Why? Because once you disprove it, or you can't disprove it, that's when you know what the position really is. If you do everything in your power to find opposite sources that tell you that it's not true and you're not convinced, then you're more secure. And that was kind of the hope. I thought that people were just going to mindlessly comment on the video. I was going to show them that they were wrong because I didn't say anything, show them that they weren't really looking at things, and hopefully they would learn something from this. But in actuality, it didn't happen. None of them did this. I, I don't know if a single one did. I got in comment exchanges. I even ended up with PM discussions, like a dozen messages long with some of these people. And they were telling me that I was saying these things and that I was just lying to them up front and like, no, I'm not. It's right there. It's right there. We're on the comment section of that video. You can watch it. It's right there. And they still didn't. They still didn't and they still defended that position, even though I wasn't arguing it. And this tells me that people are doing this for the wrong reason. I thought that people did this because they were just convinced that they were right. The idea of looking to disprove your ideas, it just didn't dawn on them. And that was me. I've changed my positions a lot because I read more about things and I grow as a person. And that's something important that people have to do. And I just thought maybe it didn't dawn on them. But the truth is, it's not they didn't think to grow. They don't want to grow. They just choose not to. Because Why? Because they want to have a bloodbath. They want to see a war. They just pick a side and they want to see the other side torn apart. And this is just something that people do a lot. They love drama. They love defending PewDiePie when he's being attacked. They aren't really sad about it. I mean, they don't really care about PewDiePie the person. They just know that they're his fans and someone's attacking them so it's someone they can make fun of. And they spam their video comments and they downrate their videos and they do all that fun stuff. They don't care if they're right or not. They're just doing it because it feels good. It's good to have a side because we feel more secure like that. It's the old mentality of us evolving because there's your side versus the other tribe. But that's a terrible mentality to have in humanity because we have to look for ways to get together and work together because as the world changes, it's more about ideas. We can learn more from each other. We can grow more from each other. But in order to do that, we have to be willing to listen to each other. And especially after this experiment, I'm learning that people just aren't interested in doing that. They don't want to hear something outside of their position. They just want to go with whatever's present. They just want to roll with it, and they aren't going to think about it. And that's just a very dangerous mentality to me. And if you did watch this, or you watched the PewDiePie video, and you want to know what to take away from this, it's this. If you ever have a position on anything... Try and disprove it. Try and see if you can change your position. Make sure that what you hold is the right one and it's the one that you're most secure in. Do that and don't just look ignorant because that way you can grow and maybe other people you talk to can grow also. And that's the idea is growing and people not wanting to grow and just laughing at the idea of growing like they were here is just very scary to me. So don't do that.